It is a new mine which was opened less than a year ago. Mingomba Mine in Shirabombwe is owned by Cobalt Metals and it is at an exploration <laughs> stage. Already, huge deposits of copper have been found with the help of latest technology. And now the mine is offering 10 scholarships for Zambian students to study artificial intelligence. Cobalt a Metals Company, our parent in the, the U USA, um, has partnered with Stanford uh, University, also in the, uh, in the USA, and with the Copper Belt University in Kitui, and with UNSA in uh, Lusaka, to um, devise a, a new, a brand new program in data science an exploration geology, which is being uh, uh, delivered through the three universities which I uh, talked about, and which, uh, f and for which, uh, Cobalt has um, offered uh, ten sponsored places for Zambian students. So, um, you know, and this is absolutely with everything that you have talked about in mind, which is the need for new ways of approaching our pr problems and delivering for Zambia, delivering for all of the people of, uh, of Zambia. And you, w you will hear um, quite a bit about, about this. Technology and Science Minister Felix Mtati has visited the mine and appreciate the level of investment done so far. To help us with the quality of decisions mm. yeah. that we are going to make. That's right. So we shouldn't fear mm. AI. Let's use it as a tool <coughs> to improve the quality of the decision. Mm. Coach Chanda will tell us mm. here. But it's still referred to Swara and say, mm. what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yes. mm. Before you sink a shaft. Mm. Mm. So you can't have Chanda alone, you have to have Swara. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Mingomba mine has high grade of copper and is expected to create thousands of jobs once mining starts. Chembe Mbale for the newsroom in Chirirawombwe.